Thank you, Grove. Northwestern Brigade, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ceremonial departure of the 4th Field Artillery Regiment, 54th Reserve Artillery Regiment, and 54th Reserve Transport Platoon from Colin Barracks, Bullangar. Officer Commanding, 4th Field Artillery Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Raymond York, would like to welcome all of our guests today, particularly General Officer Commanding, 4th Western Brigade, Brigadier General Gerald O'Hearn, local members of the office, the town and county councils, representatives of Angarda Shiafana and local community, former officers, NCOs, and gunners of the barracks, and members of the garrison families, to the significant occasion in the history of the Irish Defence Forces. The closure of Colin Barracks, the last artillery barracks in the Defence Forces. Today marks the end of 193 years of military service in this barracks and 360 years of military service in the town of Mullingar. Throughout the 193 years, this barracks has seen many units serve here. Of particular note in the history of the barracks are the 78th Highlanders, the first unit to serve here in 1819. The first battalion, the Connacht Rangers, at the turn of the last century in 1900. The 5th Brigade, the IRA, who took over from the East Yorkshire Regiment on the 10th of January, 1922. In charge of the Guard of Honour that took the barracks over from the East Yorkshire Regiment in January of 1922 was Captain Mick Madden of the 5th Brigade IRA. Today, his grandson, Captain Aidan Farrell, is on parade with the 54th Reserve Artillery Regiment, thus creating a family link between the first and last days of the use of this barracks by Oglick Neheron. This barracks was named after Company Agent Patrick Cullum from Cullum Killa, County Longford was killed in 1922 in Mullingar at the age of 20 as he attempted to rescue nine men being held by anti-treaty forces in the town. We are delighted to welcome members of the Colum family here today. The 4th Field Artillery Regiment was born in 1943 and has been based in Colum Barracks ever since. Throughout its 69-year life, the 4th Field Artillery Regiment has won many accolades. However, we are most, most proud of the fact that the 4th Field Artillery Regiment has the distinction of being the most decorated regiment in the Defence Forces. Three Distinguished Service Medals were awarded for leadership and courage while in action serving their guns in the Congo to Captain Tom Boyle, 
Sergeant Jack Quirk and Corporal Bobby Allen. We are delighted to be able to welcome Corporal Bobby Allen here today. Today, the 4th Field Artillery Regiment will cease firing in Column Barracks and move to its new home, Costume Barracks, at Lone. Officer Commanding 4th Field Artillery Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Raymond York, will now receive the handover from Regimental Adjutant and assume command of the parade.